Welcome to EVTV for April 20th, 2010. Somali pirates hijacked three Thai fishing vessels in the Indian Ocean on Sunday. The fishing vessels were said to be carrying 77 crew members. The pirates were said to be taking the fishing boats back to Somalia. Officials say that this is the farthest attack the pirates have made, and they are expanding their attacks to get out of American patrols off the coast of Somalia. And in national news, according to a study released today, indoor Indoor tanning among U.S. college students is linked to addiction, anxiety, and substance use. Researchers polled more than 400 undergraduates ages 18 to 25 in the northeastern U.S. Almost half of them said that they use tanning beds. The researchers asked the respondents about their indoor tanning as well as their use of alcohol and other substances. They found that people who tanned also tended to use alcohol and marijuana they were also more likely to experience symptoms of anxiety. The authors noted that repeated exposure to UV light may have results similar to those often cited by substance abusers, relaxation, increased social socialization, and improved moods. Here's Andy for some state news. A fatal fire happened in the Tomahawk area and in the town of Bradley on Monday. Firefighters tried to save a 77-year-old woman by flying her to a helicopter to Sacred Heart Hospital, where she was soon pronounced dead. A downtown business was also destroyed in the two separate fires. And for school news, the blood drive is this Friday. Please help our school reach its goal. Sign up in the front office or in the guidance to donate. Any and all juniors willing to help decorate after school on Friday, please sign up in Miss Takes Room ASAP. Also, there is a team sports commence Friday evening. Please come back to school to finish up in the last minute details. There is a lot to do to make a prom a prom. Nomination papers and officer position descriptions for anyone interested in running for class officer for the 2010-2011 school year will be available in the front office and guidance. Papers may also be picked up from Ms. Morrow or Ms. Miller. Students will have all of all of next week, April 19th through April 23rd, to get necessary signatures and run their campaigns. Completed nomination papers need to be turned in to the office, Ms. Morrow or Ms. Miller, by the beginning of fourth block on Friday, April 23rd. Class officer elections will, be, will happen the first week in May. Make a difference and get involved in your student government. Juniors, are your parents a patron of Oakdale Electric Cooperative for their Electric Bill, if yes, you are eligible to attend the Oakdale Electric Cooperative Youth Leadership Congress at UW River Falls campus July 7th through the 9th, 2010. Mawson High School may send up to six delegates to this program. Three of our six delegates will receive a $1,000 scholarship after attending the program. Selection is based on a written essay completed after the program. See Ms. Mead for an application. They are due Monday, May 3rd. Job opportunity. Starbucks of Wisconsin Dells has immediate openings for after school and weekend help. You must be at least 16 years or older, responsible and able to work efficiency in a fast-paced environment. If interested, apply online at Starbucks.com or call Doug or Leanna at 253-7507 for further information. And in sports, today is boys varsity golf against Nakusa at 4 p.m. away. Also, boys tennis plays on Alaska Luther at home today at 4.30. Baseball plays at Nakusa at 5. And softball plays Nakusa at home today at 5. Also, soccer won yesterday. They won against Richland Center 3-2. Good job, girls. Keep it up. You rock. We had a chance to talk with Ryan Miller about prom and also a sneak peek at the reality fair. If you are planning on getting pictures taken by her, you need to go to the office and pick up the form and pre-fill it out and have your money ready and then bring it to prom and take your pictures there. Also, we will be uh, making and creating decorations during guided studies throughout this week if you're interested. And we also be doing stuff after school and before school. Uh, if you need more information on that, just contact me and I'll let you know more about it. 
Uh, again, prom is this Saturday, starting at 8.30. The Grand March will be at 10. The cost is $10 a person or $15 a couple. And please stay afterwards to help clean up. All right. Thank you. Yep.